Money is not everything, but money is something very important, especially when it helps us achieve our life's goals and supports the things we care about most deeply. It developed through time and had an interesting historical background. I'm Kemal and in this video I'm going to illustrate the stages where the money passed throughout the history. Back then where there was nothing called money, there was the bartering system. For example, a farmer may exchange a bushel of wheat for a pair of shoes from a shoemaker. However, these arrangements take time. If you are exchanging an axe as a part of an agreement in which the other party is supposed to hunt birds for instance, of course he won't agree. So you have to alter the deal until someone agrees to the terms. Slowly, a type of currency involving easily traded items like animal skins, salt and weapons developed over the centuries. These traded goods serve as a medium of exchange. This system of trading spread across the world and it still survives today in some parts of the globe. Sometime around 770 BC, the Chinese moved from using tools and weapons as a medium of exchange to using miniature replicas of these same objects that has been cast in drones. Due to that, people didn't want to reach in their pocket and impale their hands on the sharp tiny daggers, these tools were eventually abandoned for objects in the shape of a circle. These objects became the first coins. Then in 600 BC, Lydia's king Galeatis minted the first official currency. The coins were made from electrum, a mixture of silver and gold that occurs naturally. Lydia's currency helped the country increase both its internal and external trading systems making it one of the richest empires in Asia Minor. Some parts of Europe were still using metal coins as their sole form of currency all the way up to the 16th century. This was helped by their colonial efforts. The acquisition of new territories via European conquests provided them with new sources of precious metals and enabled them to keep minting a greater quantity of coins. However, Banks eventually started using paper banknotes for depositors and borrowers to carry around in place of metal coins. These notes could be taken in the bank at any time and exchanged for their face value in metal coins. This paper money could be used to buy goods and services. In this way, it operated much like currency does today in modern world. However, it was issued by banks and private institutions, not the government which is now responsible for issuing currency in most countries today. The first paper currency issued by European governments was actually issued by colonial governments in North America. Because shipments between Europe and North American colonies took so long, the colonies often ran out of cash as operation expanded. Instead of going back to barter system, the colonial government issued those documents that traded as a currency. Finally, virtual currency. Bitcoin, released in 2009 by Satoshi Nakamoto, quickly became the standard for virtual currencies. Virtual currencies have no physical coinage. The appeal of virtual currency is that it offers the promise of lower transaction fees than traditional online payment mechanism. And virtual currencies are operated by decentralized authority, unlike government issued currencies. This was a brief demonstration of the development of the thing that has a very real and permanent effect on how we do business today. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. And see you later.